George Southern Athletics here with Coach Charlton C. Y. Young at Hanner Field House after the Eagles suffered a difficult loss to the Citadel. We talked about it briefly, though, Coach. This is the fourth game in eight days, four difficult games against Wofford, against Davidson, against Charleston, and tonight against the Citadel, who always plays Georgia Southern very, very tough, always very well coached. But, but speak to how the preparation has to change when you play an NBA-like schedule. Well, it's just a very difficult situation. First, I want to give Citadel credit. They played well, made shots, made tough shots, and it gave them energy and made them believe. Uh, I think they were very desperate the situation they were in. Uh, I think we used a, a ton of energy and effort uh, to play Davidson, to play Charleston. I was concerned about the game, just the physicality of the game, the workmanship of Citadel, and also playing them in a very, very short turnaround time in terms of preparation. Um, with that being said, we got a lot of open shots. We got a lot of shots around the basket. Uh, when the ball didn't go in the hole, we panicked. Uh, they made shots and it gave them energy. And that's basically the ball game. But give Citadel credit, give their coaching staff credit. They did a great job to keep their group together, uh, to play physical. And uh, their freshman kids just made tough shots. I thought we contested all of them, but about one. Uh, but him making shots gave them confidence. And guys we had it normally make them um, uh, didn't go for us tonight. And usually that means you don't you don't have legs. So uh, this group I believe in. Uh, we've handled adversity. Uh, well all year. Um, we win together, we lose together. Our basketball family is going to stay together and find a way to get back in this race. Well, day in and day out, statistically, I would have to say it's extremely difficult to defeat a team that shoots 60% for the game, especially trying to come back from a deficit in the first half. Eagles were one for eight from behind the arc in the first half. That's a difficult thing to, to surmount. As you talked about, maybe the legs were a little bit tired. All kinds of reasons, certainly, not necessarily excuses. But what are some of the things now your team's going to focus on? They'll get some rest for a day or so and then head off back on the road. Biggest thing is we need rest. I mean, uh, fatigue was definitely a factor tonight. Um, but we should never lose in Hannafield House, especially with the great crowd we had tonight. Uh, great fans, thank you so much. Uh, don't give up on the Eagles because we're going to keep fighting. And uh, I shouldn't say get back in the race because with all the records in the league, uh, everybody's beating up on everybody. Uh, we're, we're still very much uh, in the race. So uh, we got to go and, and, and treat this next game versus App as a one game Super Bowl. And if we get that one, we got that happy feeling again and we can get going. So uh, every night in the conference, it's going to be tough. Uh, I hate that we lost at home. Um, we should not lose in Hannafield House. But again, the number of games we played in a short time, uh, time frame, I think hurt our legs tonight. And, uh, I wasn't, you know, effort in the past and a couple games I've been upset with. Uh, but I think our guys gave a great effort. I just thought when the ball didn't go in the hole, we got tense and we kind of backed off and uh, played a little passive. So we're going to get better. We're going to get better. We're going to get one. We're going to get ourselves going again. Well, Coach, certainly giving all the credit to the Citadel, they always play Georgia Southern very, very tough. Last year was an overtime game at their place. Two. It's, it's a two overtime game at their place. This is always a difficult game. And it's the SOCON. These are great teams playing against great teams. As you said, one of the best mid-major conferences in the country. And it's going to be a battle until March. So how do you tell your guys that there's still a whole bunch of time to go? Oh, no, one game at a time. And uh, these guys, they fought out of this same situation last year. We finished 12 and 6 in the league. Uh, we're, we're going to be, we're going to show up at every game uh, ready to scrap, prepared, and ready to play. Well, Coach Young, thanks for spending some time with Georgia Southern Athletics. We look forward to seeing the scores coming out of next week. Thank you very much.